Hi everyone, Quids here. I've just finished this drawing of Tux here to use on my YouTube videos. Uh, actually, I've used this picture for a while of Tux looking very puzzled. It's on my YouTube profile and a few other websites. But I fancied a full screen version, and since I couldn't find any, I went and drew one in uh, Inkscape. So it's about 40 minutes worth of video uh, showing you what I've done. And I sped it up to about 6 minutes. I'll talk you through it. So I've blown up my original drawing of Tux. You can see it all, it's all pixelated. So now drawing a new line around the edge. So I put the nodes where the curve changes direction. Now it's dragging the line out to get the curves in the right place. So I've just drawn the outside of his body first and then I'll draw the feet on later. It's just to make filling a bit easier on the white. Not sure if it did or not in the end. I noticed some of the corners are a bit jagged, so I'm adding a couple of extra nodes there and deleting the original. That's his feet. They're just a mirror image of each other. And I forgot to click the line off in the right place there, so I had to draw it, draw it a second time. the snap to paths tool makes that bit a bit easier I'm drawing his beak and that's quite simple and his wing you can get the handles and nodes in the right place there now his eyes I probably put a few too many nodes in here and it made editing them a little bit more difficult. But you can see I get there in the end. Yeah, just a bit of messing around there. I'm going to have to keep moving the layers on those because I accidentally drew it on layer one. I should have drawn it on the tux layer. Once again, I still have the wrong layer highlighted. I should have checked that. I forgot to do it. I was drawing the shading at the top of his head. So I'm not being very decisive there. I just kept changing my mind again. This is the case of draw it in and drag the curves around to the right place. A new layer for filling. And move his feet onto a separate layer as well. Oops, I had to grow and shrink on in the wrong place. That's it starting with the black. Then it's white as linear gradient, starting about halfway down, so there's light most of the, most of the top. Let's drag the tux layer up to the top above the fill. That's breaking the line on his beak. Again, shading the top of his head. Took a bit of getting the colours right and getting the angle in the right place. Yep. Yeah. So cutting the line on his whites there, so his wing is at the top. Cut it and then delete the the node. <coughs> delete the nodes. I use the same fill for his wings as I do the top of his head. This gradient length is a bit different. There we go. Now doing his beak, opted for a linear gradient, orange down towards yellow, but orange most of the uh, top of the beak. This is draw uh, the lit up area. So draw a shape in there, and then use radial gradient from white down towards uh, transparent and offset it just to move the light to a different place. Now drawing his feet, so I turned all the other layers off so it won't affect the fill. 
I'm opting for colours that are similar to his beak. Just with a gradient yeah, offset there, offset linear gradient. I draw on a shade of that or the lit area on his feet. That's white, just make it a bit easier to see. Now use a radial gradient with white down towards transparent, offset it. Yep. And the same the other side. Radial gradient, offset towards the right hand side. That's it, put all the other layers back on now. Just messing around a bit more on the gradient there. I wasn't quite happy with where it was. Now drawing his eyes, they were just spheres. That one I converted to path and then uh, just delete the top of it where his eye, eyebrow is. And that's another circle. Do a linear gradient just to get the, the light spot in the right place. I went back and looked at the original tux. You see, oh, it's a bit of a different shape than I originally had it. There you are. And copy it over to the other side. Same again, change, convert to path. Delete the top of it. And there it is. Did a bit of editing afterwards. That concludes the video of me drawing tux in Inkscape. So please, thumbs up, like and subscribe. I'll see you later.